got a tabletop to do. But first, I gotta get my workout in. Okay, workout over. Let's get Shooting Kid up, because we got a review to do. Hey, Shooting Kid, you ready to do that review? No. Hey there, Shooting Guy. Thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, that's kind of how it's been around here. Shooting Kid hasn't been feeling well since we got back from that trip, and uh, he's been trying to sleep that stuff off. Some of you may be wondering, hey, Shooting Guy, why the heck were you on a treadmill? Why don't you just get out and run? Well, you know, I haven't figured out uh, my distances here in the new place yet, and uh, we kind of live in the south, which is kind of like Australia, you know, things kind of go all backwards and... <laughs> so I haven't really figured it out yet. So in the meantime, uh, treadmill it will be. Today, what do we have? We have a uh, the H&K Flak by Benchmade. That's right, it is made by Benchmade, and it's an under $20 Benchmade. Pretty cool little knife. Um, some of you may remember back a number of months ago, maybe almost a year ago, we did a review on a very similar uh, H&K that was made by Benchmade. And um, I'll roll a little bit of footage in on that one so you could see what that was. We really enjoyed that one. Shooting Kid uh, was recently out uh, back in California taking care of some business, as was I. And uh, we traveled extremely light, so light we didn't even take a knife with us. So he said, uh, heck, Dad, I'm going to... Uh, Big five, and I'm gonna pick me up a knife. And then he found this one. This one's normally like $44, uh, which is, in my opinion, a little overpriced. But uh, he was able to get it for, I think, $19.97 or $19.95, something like that. Um, just the right price for a blade like this. And um, no lost knife tears on this one if you if you break it or lose it, because it's only 20 bucks. But I am pleasantly surprised at its durability. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it in just a minute. But for right now, Let's get to the specs. Overall length, seven and seven eighths inches. Blade length, three inches at the choil. Length when closed, four and a half inches. It has a titanium coated stainless steel blade that's made out of, well, mystery steel. It weighs five and a quarter ounces. Very convenient lanyard hole. A deep carry pocket clip. Sorry, it's not reversible spring assist mechanism for one hand operation. It's a liner lock. The scales are made of G10. The blade is of a sheep's foot design and it has this convenient thumb hole for easy deployment of the blade. Comes in desert sand camo, that's what they call it. You can also get it in black. This only comes in a partially serrated blade. It does have some nice jimping up here for adequate purchase on the blade, as does it down here. It's not skeletonized by any stretch of the imagination, but it does have some grooves cut in it down deep inside there. Doesn't help with the weight though. Now this particular blade is an exclusive to Big Five Sporting Goods Shop, and uh, as they have a few knives like that, made by Benchmade for H&K that is sold exclusively at Big Five. Um, some of you may know that uh, back in 2016, Benchmade and H&K parted ways and they're no longer making H&K Benchmade knives. Now what does that mean for these exclusive knives? Well I'm going to assume they're not going to be making any of these branded knives for Big Five anymore either and when the inventory is gone they're gone forever. Okay so does that mean that these might be collectible? Um, very well might mean that uh, especially at this price point you may find some of them on eBay and uh, other outlets like that going for a little bit more than uh, $19.95. We know that we were just gonna wait around. We're not gonna spend $45 on it when they were in inventory because we knew they were gonna come up sale pretty soon and that's what we would wait for. But now that they're no longer available, they may take in a higher price. So if you can still get at a big five near you, uh, this knife, the flak, or this knife, the espionage, make sure that you pick yourself one up uh, it's because the price is right, for one thing, and uh, it may have some, uh, you know, a collector's value at some point where somebody may want them, and uh, you'll have one, and uh, you might be able to get rid of it for a pretty good price. But uh, we're using them. We love them. 
they served their purpose quite well. Shooting Kid used it all the time that he was uh, back in California, and he's and he's been pocketing it. As a matter of fact, you can notice the G10 handles in this kind of desert camo tan thing. It's got some blue on it. That's not because that's how it came. That's because it's been in his sweaty butt pocket, and it turned kind of blue on him. Um, that's because of the denim, not the not the G10. I'm pretty sure. Uh, one of the other interesting things about this knife is there are no made in China markings. There are no made in the USA markings. Um, but because of the low cost and the mystery steel, I can't figure out what it is. It might be um, 8CR13 MOV. Most likely it is if it came out of China, if it did. Uh, but because of the low price, um, I'm guessing it was a Chinese made knife uh, to the specs of Benchmade, obviously. Which, you know, if you take a look at this thing, you know, it centers up pretty nicely. It's a little off center, but not bad at all. And uh, it's very positive when it opens. Uh, the specs are very, very good on this thing and the way that it feels and everything in the hand is good. It doesn't have any wiggle or shake in the blade, so it's made quite nice. But if it wasn't made in China, it's probably made in Bangladesh somewhere because uh, it wasn't uh, a whole lot of bucks at all. But, uh, you know, as far as a value knife goes, it's very much that. Well, let's see. Is there anything else we can tell you about this here? Yeah, fully, uh, let's see, it's assisted open. It's spring-loaded, spring-assisted opens up really fast and positively when you get some purchase on it. I'm not a big fan of the whole thing. Um, if any of you guys watch Nut and Fancy, you know what he does. He puts a little tie wrap on it to try to give a little more purchase on it. Um, it tears up my thumb a little bit, probably because I'm not used to it. I like, I like me a little thumb stud like this one here and it makes it uh, quite nice to open up and this one opens up real fast and real slick. But uh, there you go. There's some uh, offerings from H&K, made by Benchmade. This is the flak. This is the espionage. And uh, we like them both. Go out and get yourself one. Maybe a collector's item. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget, check out our website. Um, we've got a new merchandise page that's opening up. And uh, we want you to take a look at some of our offerings there. Would you do that, please? Go down and click below and just take a look and see what's there. Um, these knives won't be in there as of right now, but uh, in the upcoming months we probably will pull these knives into there if they are still available. But uh, we've got some things that we uh, have shown you recently. We're, put, we're putting them in there in our new uh, 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 merchandise page. So take a look, enjoy that. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram because Instagram, we uh, give you a foreshadowing of things that are coming on our videos. And so if you're watching there, you know what's about to, uh, about to pop. And we got a few of those photos on there. So take a look at Instagram. Give us a like and a heart and all that good stuff that you do on Instagram. Like us up on Facebook and uh, chat us up in the comments down below if any of you have either one of these knives or one of these uh, H&K Benchmades that were either exclusives or made through Benchmade. I'd love to hear about them. Love to see pictures of them. Put them on Instagram. We always like looking at them there. There you go. God bless you. God bless America. And may America bless God. See you next time.